Fashion Month is here, and whether you're invited to Fashion Week or you want to make a what would you wear to a fashion show TikTok, we're sure you want to be wearing the latest trends. And you're in the right video to discover the top trends for fall 2021 straight from the runways. Welcome to Like I Said, your source for fashion, beauty, and Parisian lifestyle on YouTube. No olvides que tenemos subtítulos en español y nos avons aussi des sous-titres en français. And to make your life easier, you can jump from trend to trend by clicking on the timestamps in the description box below. All right, trend number one, bold colors. Yes, yes, yes. We've had color blocking for the last couple of seasons and this season is not going anywhere. And we're not only embracing color, we're embracing bold and bright colors. Let's start right off with Bottega Veneta. Uh, where Daniel Lee presented a, a very black, dark collection mainly, but it has some very important colorful looks, especially all those pieces with feathers and these neat mini dresses that I suspect we'll be seeing in our street style stars very soon. Um, Olivia Roustan at Balmain had some very bright, even neon colors all over the runway, like this sweater paired with silver, which is another huge trend, or this total look in bright pink. Chanel also went for pink in this wearable two-piece look which includes a crop top, our biggest summer trend which of course you can check out right over here, and a jacquemus again, lots of bright pink. As you can see you don't have to be afraid to mix a bright color with another and contrary to what you might believe uh, actually pink goes great with red or orange, you know, just big contrasting colors. At Off-White we had this iconic blue dress and with blue shoes as well, uh, worn by Bella Hadid who opened the show and then we had an orange total look as well. Stella McCartney uh, showed a lot of bright colors like this pink total look, but she also used uh, color pieces either in, in a color blocking look or just a pop of color in a more neutral look, which of course is a simple way for you to take this trend into your daily life. Finally, at Saint Laurent, uh, we got a lot of bright jewel colors mixed within the same look, and we have also the use of metallic. Now onto the streets. As you can see, the pink total look looks amazing in real life. Here we have an orange look. I'm sure if you see this in a store, you can be afraid of the color, but it looks amazing. Here we have what I was telling you about the mix of bright colors. So we have red and pink, and it looks really, really good. And finally, a uh, bright blue, which mixes our next trend. For our trend number two, we go to kind of the other side of the spectrum. We have masculine wear which is a very, very broad term, but basically it's everything taken out of the male wardrobe. We can have oversized blazers, we can have workwear, very traditionally masculine clothes, like a Balmain, for example, where it was very oversized and many of the looks had a military touch to them. Traditionally masculine wear, of course. At Celine, uh, we saw the classic masculine feminine approach with big blazers, uh, jackets, and even work boots, but they were mixed with crop tops to give it a feminine balance. At Louis Vuitton as well, Nicolas Gestier added masculine elements to otherwise feminine looks. Like for example, this jacket or this coat, and they can look very oversized and boxy, like if they belong to the model's boyfriend and she was cold. <laughs> That's the vibe. <laughs> But oversized is not the only way to do masculine. As you can see at Saint Laurent, we saw this very elegant and very fitted uh, masculine even and wear. So of course this is masculine, but it's much more fitted to the feminine body. And we got a bit of that at Caparelli as well, but instead of even and wear, it was more of a workwear vibe. So this is a more casual, masculine approach. Of course, this being Caparelli, everything is embellished with surrealist details. And finally, Stella McCartney, which I personally love. <laughs> she added a touch of masculinity to some looks by using an oversized bomber jacket. And it worked. Okay, let's go check out those street style looks. Okay, first up we have the classic and oversized coat. Obviously very masculine and 
very chic. Here we have a couple of examples of more of a workwear look, but again, very masculine, very oversized, very chic. And finally, this office wear masculine vest, which worn without a shirt, I think can be very sexy and very elegant. Next, our number three runway trend is leather. We saw it in dresses at Bottega Veneta. Uh, we had a couple of total leather looks as well. And of course, we had it all over in those extra long boots, uh, which are basically in every look. At Off-White, we had a couple of total leather looks as well. Very minimalistic, very elegant, I love this example because it shows that a leather look doesn't mean it has to be super sexy automatically, not understated. More examples of these at Gabriela Hearst, who, if you didn't know, is also the creative director at Chloe since very recently. Here we have a very elegant dress and a coat. At Celine, like we've had pretty much since Eddie's Demain took over, we have very wearable pieces. Uh, this leather jacket and this black blazer, well, they are not the exception. Also, leather doesn't always have to be black, and we can see at Sportmax this beautiful burgundy coat, which also goes with everything, <laughs> and this asymmetric green dress that I think is very, 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 very elegant. And for the most original use of leather, of course, we turn to Schiaparelli with the boob shaped leather crop top, I must have. <laughs> and this maxi hoodie, um, I mean, Danielle Rosberry is really doing an amazing work at this Maison. We're big fans, at, like I said, of course, if you follow our channel, you know this. And if you don't, this is your quick reminder to go and like this video and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to turn on those notification bells so you are among the first to watch our next video. Okay, our trend number four for this fall is one we're sure you're going to start spotting all over your Insta feed and it's long sleeves. But we don't mean like up to here long sleeves, we mean like really long sleeves. For example, <laughs> these long sleeves at Balmain. Exactly. <laughs> okay, this might not be the most practical for real life, but if you want to serve a really trendy look on a picture, I mean, this is the way to go this fall. <laughs> I mean, if even Mr. Kim Jones thinks they should be in over like half of his looks at Fendi, I think it's safe to say that this is a trend that would really pick up steam during the next couple of months. And as you can see, you can find this feature in basically any garment. Uh, you can have long sleeves in shirts, in jackets, in blazers, and of course, in dresses. Like for example, this beautiful knit dress by Gabriela Hearst. Knitwear, by the way, is another huge trend, but we will show you more looks with this trend in our winter trend report. If you are watching this on winter, you can probably click up here right about now. <laughs> Jacquemus also had a ton of ultra long sleeves, uh, like in this shirling jacket, another popular garment, by the way, but he also had them in more reasonable lengths, like for example, in these looks. I mean, these lips will, will even allow you to like type or like use your phone comfortably. <laughs> At Sportmax, practically all the sleeves were XXL. Personally, I mean, even if they're not the most practical look, I love them. <laughs> I mean, I feel like they're so stylish and they add like a, like an unexpected lengthening proportion of the body. And um, I mean, as I said, they will be great for pictures, but I think they can like also work for real life. They have this sort of um, like Nirvana vibe, you know, when it was really fashionable to like really pull your sleeves and be all like tormented but in a chic way. <laughs> okay, let's see how people are doing sleeves on the street. Okay, off the runway, long sleeves are sometimes sold like this with like a slit on the side so the hands can come out and you can use them. Uh, we have this beautiful example of oversized sleeves, uh, really wide and really long. You can see it looks really chic on the image. We have Rita Ora wearing a Fendi look. Uh, she looks great with this 
coat, long sleeves, but she can use her hands. <laughs> and we get lovely Macy Williams with long sleeves and also a masculine look, which is mixing a classic blazer with military sleeves. I love this piece. You can see Macy in the Dior show in this video up here. She looked really amazing and she was matching looks with her boyfriend. Finally, our number five trend for fall 2021 is, well, it's a kind of a mini trend, but it's a trend that's really picking up steam and it's a preppy look. This is basically the look of like a cliche, East Coast Ivy League student, which if you remember, it was like very popular uh, in the 2000s, in the 2000s, 90s, 2000s maybe. And of course, we're starting to see some hints here and there with the revival of this decade. But we are predicting that it will grow in intensity and popularity and basically everyone will start wearing it again. Here are a couple of examples. Chanel had this cute skirt that, I mean, it looks like a school uniform. I feel like Serena van der Woodsen could be wearing this, you know, like Gossip Girl, the old version. <laughs> and this sweater vest um, and a shirt at Celine, it's, it's a very clear nod to the style. At Saint Laurent, we had more sweater vests and the typically preppy tartan cardigan. Uh, but it was definitely at Philosophy by Lorenzo Serafini where we saw the biggest and most obvious example of this trend. Uh, basically every look of the collection uh, was uh, inspired by it and you can see it's very varsity, very school uniform, um, I mean I love it. I don't know if I could wear a total look but you know it's just like maybe a skirt and a nice varsity blazer and of course you don't have to wear like the full uniform. <laughs> But consider like adding a piece uh, to your look, like uh, maybe like a pleated mini skirt or tartan sweater vest. With but if you want to go all out with this trend, just get inspired by clueless. <laughs> Basically, wear anything Cher is wearing. <laughs> As you can see, preppy can only be like a pleated skirt, like in these looks, or like this amazing look. I mean, she looks like she's going to Howard's fashion school. <laughs> I love this look. It looks like a very preppy uniform. Or you can just adopt a small element. Uh, this lady that is wearing shoes with socks. They look like they could be part of a school uniform. Okay, well, that's it, guys. I hope you're super inspired to plan your fashion week looks, either for TikTok or real life. But anyway, we're sure you're going to kill it with your style and you're ready to revamp your fall wardrobe so you're welcome okay now before you go don't forget to like this video subscribe to like i said and again turn on that notification bell so this way you can be among the first one to watch our next video don't forget to leave in the comments below which was your favorite trend what do you think of our toys uh, is there something we miss a designer or like a huge trend that you are spotting all over that maybe should be included let us know! Thank you so much for watching guys! See you next time!